So if you've been wondering what an author media kit is, then you're in the right spot. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an author media kit. I am going to show you what's included in the author media kit and if you actually need one. If that sounds good to you, then keep on watching. If you're new here, hello, my name is Mari Suggs and on this channel I share publishing and writing tips all with a positive mindset. If that sounds good to you, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. So for today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to hop onto my computer so I can show you exactly how to create your author kit and I'll walk you through the steps of what's included and if you actually need one. In the case that you don't know what an author media kit is, it is basically a press release. And the purpose of it is to send it to those people who might be interested in stalking your book or reviewing your book or talking about your books. For instance, you can send it to book reviewers, to bloggers, to vloggers, to magazines, to media outlets, to bookstores, to libraries, essentially anyone that could be interested in your book, to talking about your book, that could interview you. So anybody that is a good market for your book, that is who this press kit is for. So as you can see, if you are an author and you're in the process of releasing a new book, then this is perfect for you, which is why I decided to create one for myself. So without further ado, let's hop into my computer so I can show you how to create one and what's included. First, I want to say that I'm using Canva to create this press kit. You can actually use Word if that is something you're more comfortable with or if you don't want to use Canva. But Canva is an online design program that you can use for free. So if you are using Canva, once you're logged in or you're, you know, you're in the program, you can go on top and search for media kit. And this whole section right here pops up and you can use any of these templates that they have here but for my purposes right now I'm just going to use a blank page so we can do it from scratch in case you don't want to use any of these things you certainly can you can change the image this the font you can change all of it but I'm just going to show you how I'm thinking of creating mine using a blank canvas so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a text and I'm going to title it author bio Obviously, you can use whatever font you want, whatever, you know, if you have particular fonts that coincide with whatever you are releasing. For example, if you know if the font here matches the font of the title of your book, then that's that's a good thing that you can do and use. That way, everything is cohesive. I don't have the same fonts because my cover designer does not use Canva to create my things. Therefore, I don't have it. So I can try to match it as best as possible. If you don't have the same fonts, then maybe what you can do, you can create a cohesive press kit by maybe including the same color scheme as you have for your book cover. So the first page we're going to do is the author page, the author bio. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to grab my bio. My bio is not done. I'm currently still working on it, but I, for this video, I'm just gonna use this so I can show you how to create one so that you have some idea of what it is when you start doing yours. Let's see, does this work? Yeah, sure, we'll use this font for now. It's not ideal, but it'll work for now. You can make it small, you can fix it here, make it a little, you know, a little more cohesive. And then you can do this and then you have there is your bio you can actually I think fix it even more yeah like that and that's perfect so now what you have to do I don't have professional photos sell, uh, taken yet so I that is something I'm planning on doing so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a frame from here so that I can insert a photo and like I said, I haven't had my professional pictures taken yet. So I'm just going to grab whatever picture I have in here, whatever. I'll grab that one, put it in there. And that's, that's a terrible picture, but whatever. Um, we're going to do that. And we're going to, that's basically your first page. You're introducing yourself to all the potential people who are going to be receiving your book and potentially be pr promoting your book. If you want to, for example, my book has pink here. If I want to change the color to match the pink, I can do that. I can also do this to add a little more flair. Let's close the frames, add this, and let's make sure, let's do this, this, and this. And let's change this to that hot pink if we wanted to. Let's make it really, really transparent. And then let's position it back. And that way it adds a little more to your um, press kit. It just doesn't look too blah. 
if you wanted to position, if you wanted to copy that and move it up to the top, maybe up here too, you could do that. And that way, you know, it looks even, even more cohesive. You could do something like that if you want, or you could just not have that, whatever you want. So the design is up to you. Just make it professional, cohesive, and just something that maybe stands out to the people that are receiving it. The next page that we're going to do is we're going to do the contact information. So for this, you're going to do the same, basically the same thing. We're going to add contact, contact, oops. and then we're going to move it up here. We're going to make it all caps. And let's see, let's make sure that our sizes are the same. That one's 31.5, 31.5, perfect, perfect. Let's change the color to that pink just to make it cohesive. Again, remember, do whatever you, fits for you. And now we're going to start adding your all your social media sites. So if you have a website, you should definitely include that. Then you need to include your email address. You need to include your social media for sure, especially the ones that you're really active in. Um, or even if you're active, but you don't like my Facebook, it's not something I normally do, but I do have a Facebook that I do post, you know, occasionally on. So I'm definitely going to include it. Then I'm going to obviously include my YouTube and that's, um, at Marty Suggs and then Twitter. Again, one that I'm not really that active on, but I'm definitely going to include it. But that's your contact information is very, very important in some a piece of information that you need to have on there. So let's change this back to maybe the same font that we had before. That's too big. Let's put it at 20. Oops. Let's make sure the whole thing is selected and let's put it at 21. Yeah, we could do that. And that's it. That's basically your contact information. You can make it more flashy if you want. You can, you know, do something similar to, to that. You can, you know, let's copy, duplicate, and bring it down here if we want. Shorter like that. If you want to add icons, maybe you can do that too. So it's up to you how you design it, but this is the next thing that goes there. Then down here, you're going to have product information. So we're going to do product information. And you know the drill by now. We're going, oops, information. Can I type? Perfect. We're going to make it all caps. We're going to move it over. We're going to change the color. And then we're going to start adding the product information. And these are the following things that you need on here. You are going to include your name again, Mari Suggs. Let's make it big like this. Perfect. Then we're going to title. Oops. Title is going to be between us. Then you're going to do the genre, which is fiction, contemporary romance. Then you're going to do release date. In my case, guys, release date, March 24, 2020. You're going to do available formats, and that's paperback and ebook. You're going to do price, which is going to be $15.99. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and fix this to make sure it has the right thing so that we know where we're at. 21, let's go ahead and fix it and it's going to go to the side. Oh my goodness, it's a little tricky this program, but here we go. Then the next thing that's going to go, you're going to do the page count. I'm not certain of my page count yet. I think it's around here because I'm not done you know, I haven't got my final edits from the editor yet. Available format, available, available, no, sorry. Available, Amazon, amazon.com, and Barnes and Noble. And then the final thing, oh, that, that is the final thing. You can do Kobo, 
and then you can do iBooks. If whatever formats, you know, if it's only Amazon, then it's only Amazon. So you could do that, basically. You could do the same thing again, copy, bring it down here. Again, you could do whatever you want, the design that, you know, best, that's the design that best suits you. So let's fix that a little bit. Perfect. And let's bring that up. Let's bring this over. And there we go. Now the next page. The next, oh, you know what you could do too? Actually, I didn't do it here, but I can do that. You could, if you wanted to, you can make this a little smaller. Let's bring this up a little, because I was thinking, I was doing like a practice run the other day. Oh. And what I did was I added the cover of the book on this page too, just because I wanna keep reminding them of the cover of the book, which is essentially what we're trying to promote here. The next page you're going to do is going to be the synopsis. And of course, you're going to start it off with the cover of your book. And then you're going to write synopsis and you're going to include the copy of your synopsis on this page. I'm going to my website, copying and pasting it because I've already obviously written it a thousand times. There's no reason to rewrite it and get a typo along the way. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in this little area and fix it just like I fixed all the other things, making sure it's cohesive and it all matches nicely. In case you guys notice a difference in the audio is because while I was creating the media kit, I was actually recording the voiceover. Somewhere along the way, I hit mute and now I'm doing the voiceovers over the recording. So I'm sorry for the difference, but I still hope that you guys are learning a lot how to create your own media kit. Here, I'm basically just moving it around. You can design it again. It's the same thing I said before. This is your design, your creation. Just use your creativity to make it as best as you can. And the whole point is just to promote yourself as the author and your book. So the design really is not that important as long as you don't make it too crowded and like too much information where they can't read it and you're just making things difficult for them. You're pretty much have free reign of how to create your media kit. The next page we're going to have here is going to be the excerpt of your book. You're just going to do the same thing we've been doing. You're going to copy and paste and you're going to include the best parts of your book, whether you want to include the first chapter, the first 10 pages or a particular very important part of the book you can include it in this section this is the place where your book is going to shine so the next section we're going to do is going to be the media release section this is where you're going to make your interviewers job a little easier this is where you're going to include things that they can copy and paste and put on their blogs for example if you're going on a virtual book tour this is the stuff that they're going to pull from you can include things about the book. For example, what I'm going to write in a moment, you're going to see it says, between us provokes us to ask the most heart-wrenching question of all. What are you willing to risk in the name of love? This is something that your podcaster or your blogger or your vlogger or your book reviewer can just copy and paste and put on their website when they are promoting your book. In essence, you're making things easier for them. You can also add like something intriguing, like for example, Between Us was inspired by true events of the author's life. That I think that adds a little bit of intrigue even to the blogger that might be curious to see, to learn more about exactly what this means and what parts of the book are actually related to the author include is what others are saying. This is the perfect place to include quotes. For example, if you've sent your books out to advanced readers and they've come back with a bunch of quotes and inspiring things about your book and positive sayings, this is where you want to include it because that again makes it easier for the person who's interviewing you or the person who's going to be promoting your book to have easy access to all the positive things that people are saying about your book. And the final section that you're going to include in your media kit is topics for discussion. This is actually a really good way to control the interview and to control what it is that you want to talk about, whether you want to gear the conversation to your career as the author and how far you've come, or you want to talk about the book and your struggles. You know, this is a good place for you to really, really direct the interview or the conversation in your favor. So yeah, you guys, that's basically it. All you have to do now is print it PDF and you can send it that way or you can convert it into a downloadable link that they can actually just click on and download it and they have it in their records as well. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and I so appreciate your support on this channel and until next time, stay safe.